Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. For this video we want to work on finding coterminal angles. And in case you don't know what that means, essentially a coterminal angle is another angle that has its terminal side in the same spot. So here I have a quick example of two coterminal angles and sure enough you can see that angle stops in the same spot. Now the only thing you really have to remember, like how can I find more coterminal angles, is that you can take an angle, spin it around the um, uh, axes a full 360 degrees, and you'll stop in the same spot. So a nice quick formula to uh, memorize or at least think about what's going to happen in this process is you can start with your angle and you can add multiples of 360 degrees. So this little n here just represents any type of integer. Uh, intuitively, the way you want to think of this is that I'm going to take my angle and either add 360 a whole bunch of times, or I'm going to take my angle and subtract 360 a bunch of times. Either way, that will give me something that is coterminal. All right, so let's get into uh, an example and see how this works. So remember that all we need to do is think about our angle, wherever it is in the coordinate axes, and either add and subtract 360. Okay, so this first one, instructions say find the smallest positive coterminal angle to 478 degrees. Since I'm looking for something smaller, or the smallest positive one, I'm going to start off by actually subtracting 360 degrees. That's really like going around in the other direction, works out just as good. If I take my angle and I subtract 360 uh, degrees, I'll get 118 degrees, which is pretty good. Now, if I take 118 and I subtract another 360 degrees, this will give me a negative 242 degrees, which is nice, but unfortunately it's not positive anymore, so I'm going to not worry about that one. I'm going to keep this one as the smallest positive coterminal angle to 478. And again, visually, they stop in the same place. All right, let's move on. Negative 15 degrees. I want something positive that's coterminal, so I'm going to add 360 to this guy. All right, when I do that, I get 345 degrees. Now, if I keep adding 360, of course, I'll get more uh, coterminal angles, but of course, we want just the smallest one, so we'll stop right there, call it good. Now, one thing I want to emphasize is that there really are lots and lots of coterminal angles. In this next uh, bunch of examples, we'll list out four coterminal angles that are coterminal to whatever we're given. And I'll go ahead and pick two that are positive and two that are negative, just so you can see that you can go either direction with this. All right? So I'm going to start off with my 93, and I'm going to add 360 to this guy. When I do that, I get uh, 453, so I will call that my first coterminal angle. Now I can take that one and add another 360 degrees. This will give me 813. So right there I have uh, one, two positive coterminal angles. Let's find two more by starting with our original and now subtracting 360 degrees. Okay, if I subtract, I get a negative 267. So there's one coterminal angle. And let's take this guy and subtract another 360 degrees. That'll give us negative, negative 627. So now I have two negative coterminal angles as well. So here's four of them, but I could go on and on with this as long as I want. All right, let's do this one more time. Let's start off with uh, negative uh, 113. Let's add 360 to this. That'll give us 247. So there's one coterminal angle. Let's take that uh, previous one, add another 360. This will give us 607. So now I have two positive coterminal angles. Uh, let's find a couple of negative ones. So for this, I'll go ahead and subtract 360. Not too bad. Uh, this just turns out to be negative 473. So there's one. And let's take this angle subtract another 360 degrees to get one more coterminal angle, uh, 833 degrees. There we go. 
So again, the key for finding coterminal angles is to simply add or subtract 360 degrees. Uh, definitely read your instructions carefully. I've seen lots of different versions of this. Some will say find the smallest positive coterminal angle or find the largest negative coterminal angle, you know, weird stuff like that. Uh, so just make sure that whatever coterminal angle you do find, it fits your instructions. All right. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.